<laughs> you could let's just let's be clear about this. <laughs> Welcome back to Gus and Gorney. Uh, we are offsite. Wow, this feels special. Yeah, we've been offsite a couple of times. This is better than Sticks' Sticks' study. Wow. Okay. That, that's definitely. We'll, we'll put Sticksy on the podium. Yeah. Um, is Sticks on the podium? Well, let's go. Uh, the MCG was pretty cool. MCG was cool. Sixies. Uh, uh, sorry, where, where we're, at we? we're at the Sporting Globe. We're at the Sporting Globe. And I can see the ocean from over there. You won't be able to see it because you'll just be seeing us and, and the bar. And the but grog. Um, we are looking at the picturesque suburb of Morty Alec. We're down at our local Sporting Globe. Um, Why and doesn't Morty Alec have good rep in your Bayside suburbs? Uh, that's a good question. I think it does. I'm looking out that window now and it looks beautiful. It's a nice little strip. It's very picturesque. I don't know where you've got your mail from. Um, we're very happy to be here. and Do look, the Brighton... People, that's you. you I'm not Brighton. Brighton. I'm Sandy. Sandy, do you recognise Morty Alec as a suburb of Bayside? Well, it's hard to argue when I, you know, uh, no, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, and as I say, no, I realise it's hard. It's going to be hard to argue. I'm <laughs> sitting here and I'm looking at the ocean, and yeah. uh, there's a good Bayside vibe about it. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, it's a tough one. Kibo, what are you reckoning? You're the, this is the first time you've been this close to the water, so. <laughs> I'm not Happy much of here. a water person. Yeah, it's great to be here. Great view. Windows everywhere. Um, mm. Definitely recommend. A lot of natural light. Down. Have you ever been further south than Morty Alec? To like you live bon somewhere Beach down there, don't you? Bond Beach or Chelsea or anything? You're down there. Have you been to Bond Beach? I've been to your joint. I don't know what, <laughs> a, I don't, I don't know what a Bond Beach is. <laughs> but no, nah, I have. These are my sorts of uh, next to the woods. It's good to be back. It feels... It's good to be here. It's good to be here. We're eating lots of chicken wings. We actually... So the idea is to get a few wings in the shot. And we've just gone for a two bowls. We've decimated the wings. It's a bad day to be a chicken wing in Morty Alec. Um, <laughs> but a great day to be a Gus and Gorney podcaster because we've, yeah. um, we've been treated like uh, royalty. And, um, and we were just talking about, you know, look, I'm obviously a proponent of the, the green zone termite hat. And um, green zone termites has never put a spread on for me like this. So <laughs> you, you've got to change I hats. Know, I don't know if Swan Globe do hats. That's a thing, but we'll look into that. But it's, um, it's good to be here. Okay. How are you going? A big, uh, big week of rehab for you? Yeah, it was grim. Yeah. Um, apart from the day of the game was probably my highlight. Yeah. Because that was my day sure. off. Um, you get less days off uh, when you're injured. Yeah. Um, so my day off was game day. Came in. I was happy as anything. I've never. Been, I've been a supporter for a long time. Um, and yeah, I, mean, I still wasn't. I was in the box. Like I yeah, still had I was a about role. To say, I kind of wanted. The... I kind of wanted to just sit level two. Is it N fifty two? Is that where the? Is that where the families? Yep. Oh, should yeah. I said that? Yeah. And then Bob, I'm, game, not, is it? I'm not there. <laughs> George and Jess, bad luck. Um, so <laughs> I got a, and I stayed around. I was almost last to leave after the game. I, I was catching in all that vibe of, um, of not playing. Um, it was good though. One v two, top of the table. Well, I mean, it was a good game. Yeah. And I think. Um, Did you play well? I remember we used to do this all the time, and I'd roll out the. Um, I feel like I was just on repeat. Like we'd go over the game and. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'd say I'll be got challenged, and then we responded well, and we did. Well, pretty when well. we started in 2020, we had and early on we were going like 15 minutes game review. Yeah, and there were some bad games in there. Like we lost sure. support by 70 points. Oh, um, yeah, those days. Those uh, days. No, look, I thought it was an awesome game, and after let's let's call it how it is. It's been a tough month for the Melbourne Football Club. Yeah, and um, we didn't touch on one of those games at all in our last uh, podcast. Funnily enough, we just avoid it we if just we avoid lose it. now. That's all right. Um, but you yeah, know, we dedicated a half an hour to the game today. We played pretty well, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, it was. Um, Oh, it's good to be back to Votes. our best. Votes? Uh, I reckon Jack Viney gets 3-2 and 1 votes. So if that's from my... Um, We've been strong on not just giving it to the best player, but yeah, Jack but Viney was more than just the best player. He was like the green zone to the termite. That was Brisbane. He yeah. just destroyed them. And Are you um, I'm happy to give three. Yeah. I'm, I just think, I don't know, unless you've got someone who... And you've got a different perspective. I just remember looking at Vines and just thinking, this man's on a mission. And um, Well, my, I was just going to throw, throw up one name. Who, I mean, not the podcaster's favourite person because you almost knocked it off Rick, uh, sure. in week two. But um, Rick, Rick was back to Rick. Sure. Brought some energy. His, yeah. like, his celebrations for goals from 150 metres away. Like, at one stage, he jumped in the air and fist pumped by yeah. himself. And just for, those that, yeah, for those that come to games... You can't see it in behind the goals. I can't see it behind the goals vision when you're watching TV. So you yeah. can't see Rick. Um, watch Jake Lever celebrate. It's honestly... Uh, he gets that really high knee lift. It's so... It, you On first look, you'd think, this bloke's kidding himself. But it is 
super genuine. Oh, and it drives it drives spirit. He loves it, and you know we love Rick. So what you're going to give? No, give, we're giving all three to Viney. I'm happy with that. Um, honor- a, it, you know, honorable mention. Yeah. Honorable mention. Not only have I lost my ruck spot to Luke Jackson, sure. I've also lost my skipper spot to Jack Viney. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've become redundant. I, I sold all my Mac stocks last yeah, week. Yeah, I've become and, redundant. Um, the, the, the price has plunged. Uh, that, but dollar was unreal. I think Sam Wiedemann as well held held his at end of the bargain up pretty I, well. I think, and I'm 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 not on match committee. I'm not Simon Goodwin. I think that's his best spot, Weeds. A bit of forward in, Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, he's done that before. Right? He's done it before. Yeah, I thought he was awesome, and you know, Oscar McInerney. He looks good in the ruck as well, you know, like yeah. Oh, I mean, he just looks good. Can like, we give him a vote for being just the most McInerney handsome bloke? Max Gorn, Luke Jackson, we're not the most handsome, and then Sam Wiedemann just comes oh. in. And it's like wow. Well, I mean, his nickname, as we've established, is the yep. big sexy. Yeah. And I think he did that no harm on the weekend. Probably up against, um, not stiff competition as you pointed out, but um, <laughs> no, he was unreal. I thought, it, you know, uh, that first call was a bit of an arm wrestle. Very good team, but. He's got things clicking. And as I said, tough month for the club. So good to get back one on the uh, winners list. Anything more from the game before we... No, I think we can move on. Good yeah. review. Good review. Happy with that. Um, some stuff has happened in the interim. Not related. What? Got oh, some big news. I actually might wait for Disco to bring it on because it's got... I'll, I'll say for Disco. Yeah. Big week. Yeah, Off did, field. Were you announcing we've got Disco? We've got Dan Turner. Obviously, um, yeah. you'll have seen the episode title by now. That's just and while he's not here, let's just quickly say he was our eighth choice and seven said no. Yeah, so it's been a tough, uh, been as a tough I said, week. tough month for our club. Tough our, week bookers, for the podcast. Our, <laughs> our bookers have been running crazy. Um, you know, sometimes the guest list is thick and thin. It's yeah. been a lot of thin this yeah. week, and yeah. we've dug deep. Uh, you know, we, no, that's a lie. We tried to get Jace Taylor because he lives near Mordial Exporting Globe, and he said no. And then Disco was number two. Yeah, so we, we'll, we'll look forward to chatting him. Do you Player have sponsorships also in the works? Oh, that's we've got, there's an email chain. There's about seven people on it now. It might get bumped to two dollars, but we'll we'll try to make that happen. Well, we'll I know some something else we'll dive into. There is, but there is an email chain back of house. Yeah, as long, and, and I've got evidence. I'll call done. Disco to the stand and present my evidence, and we'll, this will be rectified. Don't worry, we'll be we'll get him a premium sponsor. <laughs> we'll be we'll be all right, boys. Don't worry about it. I want to ask how you managed. Oh, we're meant to start at one. It's it started at ten past two. Mm. How you managed, Gorney, to beat Gus by half an hour when you yep. left at the same Traffic's time in the tough. same place? Yeah, so I, um, we have grew up other side of the highway. Yeah. Um, and I feel like I know the highway more. So you would have just gone straight down to Peyton. Yeah. So I went straight to Bay Road and just cruised all the way down. It's called Beach Road, isn't it? Um, Bay Road's the one in Sandy. So, oh, it's Benny Danner. How are you going, mate? Bay Road's the one in Sandy. So I've, um, I've, oh, you've turned, gone- I've turned left in Sandy. Okay. Then drove up the highway. But you, go, you go home first. That's why I'm home. <laughs> That's why. All's well, so then, well, uh, you know, I'm here, and I, as I, I, you know, I think um, you would have. I saw a huge stack of chicken bones. Yep. So that probably is an indication of yeah. how late I was. But look, Colin I he was watching the replay of the cricket and just tearing into them. It was grim. I got in. Um, I got my early, you know, turn up a couple of weeks ago. Was I was I was yeah, the first once. One there. So uh, yeah, that's, yeah that's you've beaten me once. To the podcast room, and I'm I'm probably and overcompensating now. This notebook was absolutely empty. You've written a few things, yeah, a few bits and started, bobs that have popped up. <laughs> My phone's full of stuff, Gibbo. You wouldn't be able to see because it's turned down. But um, no, we're here now. It's so, cause, cause so far so good. We really like to get momentum with a couple of our segments, like Wild Sun and uh, sure. Gibby in the Flesh, which have. And died. we can't get momentum because you're not here in the brief meeting to be able to tell us if anything's come you via Instagram. You know that our best stuff happens on the fly. Okay, but has anything come via Instagram? We're going to go to a break shortly, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need much, maybe a minute or two, and um, and I'll get some stuff for you. Yeah, there was so people were sending stuff, and we're just not. Mate, we're up to eleven thousand followers now. Yep. So the people, there's, there's a lot there's a bit them, going on there. How many of them deserve Sporting Globe vouchers for some How many left work? do we have? Um, we haven't given away too many. Yeah. I mean, Q. we're using them today for the wings. Yeah, I mean, Here there's probably are. a couple. Yeah, on queue. It's a barbecue. Celery stalks. This is, I know what they are now. Remember? Gus Portuguese the, and buffalo. What the green stuff That's was. celery. Yeah. A bit of spice there. We'll see how that goes. But um, there you can see, everyone. That's what so, we're dealing with. So Portuguese means fried wings. Is that what it is? Because they're, they're, like, they're fried. Sorry, mate. You're going to have to say that again out loud. Portuguese means... Well, then that's barbecue. These were Portuguese wings. What makes them Portuguese? The Portuguese people fry stuff. I think the rub that has been applied to that wing has its origins okay, in Portugal. Okay, buffalo's seen as spicy. Why is that name buffalo? Buffalo is buffalo. I think it's an American thing. Okay. Not a wing expert. Although I did know a bloke, and did know a bloke, I know a bloke, yep. who eats chicken bones. And Charlie Spargo asked Spargs about it. After the grand final, he met him. He's mates with my older brother. 
And you remember in, in our um, day at the after party, we were sitting there and they had brought out similar sort of things. I don't remember much from the after party. Understood. But yep. There were chicken wings on yeah. like sliders. Yep. And I pocketed the bone because I knew... Eden's cheated, mate. And he ate the bone in front of Spargs. Oh, well, the guy was there. He came. Yeah, right. Later, he ate a bone. in the night, ate a bone in front of us. So, you know... Did you get a photo or vision or anything? Uh, I've got Spargs. Okay. <laughs> we need to get Spargs on for a second time. We do. Guess, at some point. Oh, you're looking at me? Yep. Well, okay. you're the news guy. <laughs> and the helper. Well, I have a question for you. I was talking to Gorney prior. This is obviously a great venue to be at. We've had a number of different venues. I did a quick count yesterday. We've had 56 episodes. Wow. How many rooms, different rooms, do you think we have recorded in? So I'm going to go, this one's the obvious answer. Sticks' room. No, so just take a guess. Uh, 12. 16. Wow. 21. Wow. wow. This is the 21st. So we, there were five in Maroochydore. Yeah. There's a couple at Casey. Um, Purdy's, Purdy's room was Purdy's the best. room. The best oh, the, um, the Manly. The one in Manly was a good view. Yeah, we the one in your Adelaide. bedroom on Zoom. Oh, I included awesome. Zoom as one overall. Of course, overall. you have to. Oh. Because we did a few Zoom ones. Uh, it's even more, COVID. really, isn't it? Yep. So there's been some, yeah, been some different ones. MCG is pretty one cool. One in Mel's office at Casey. That little yeah. room we had Matt Yeah, Horton. yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, did we do one there? Yeah. yeah. Matt yeah, right. over Zoom. So Optus Stadium. Yep. After the grand final. Adelaide, oh, oh, no. Yeah, Adelaide to. Hotel. Stanford. What's yeah. that called? The Playford. Playford. We did the McEwer with um, Fritta. So Joondalup Resort. Yeah, of course. Ed Langdon. Lingens, Wild Jindalup, Jindalup is our best memories of Goodwin. Yeah. Premiership, I know Premiership Cup was at the stadium, wasn't it? Yeah. Goodwin and Langdon. We've had wow. some good ones in West Australia. That's all time. I and mean, now we're adding to our storied history at, at this fine venue. Yeah, so Let's um, never go back to your stock standard Casey Field main room. Well, where do we go? Oh, no, we just got that. We just got convenient. money invested. In well, you're not seeing the walls. <laughs> We've just spent 20 <laughs> bucks on upgrading our walls. They're not looking great at the moment because they all fell down. Of course they, they fall down. And They're cheap as chips. Yeah. But that's not the point. We've got some. We've got the new microphone covers. We've got a little bit of cash How many? 21. In. Yeah, this is the 21st venue. So There you go. That's a fun fact. Yep. And Special occasion. And my favourite was easily Purdy's slash Stixies. Yeah. One of them. Purdy's and Stixes. Stixes was just so good with the rich history of knowing that you were never allowed in that room. Yeah, sure. Until the day we the did the beautiful podcast couches set. too. Yeah, beautiful. We'll talk about Rich. Sticks a little bit with Disco a little bit. I've later got a on. bit. There's a bit to digest. Yeah, a um, little bit more from me. Sure. Tour de France is coming up. My man, uh, Cadell Evans, still flying around. And uh, no, well, he's still alive. Yes, he um, is. He riding? No, he's not riding. Understood. He's, he's, he's long retired. Why not? Uh, how old so, is he? So Pretty I'm old. going to give an update regularly on how the you Tour de France the is going. Uh, I haven't watch started yet. I've also dusted off the Xbox. Jess and George are away. Sure. Where are they? What do you do when like, Danielle's away and there's just nothing, nothing to do? You're the only one at home. Uh, I watch a lot of... Um, I'm a big sports doco guy. I've just yeah. watched the Shark 30 for are 30. You? Have you seen the 30 for 30s? No. Love them, mate. You should get into them. Better than Xbox? Oh, see, I'm no good at Xbox. That's a problem. I've got a few mates You're who You're a PC play. man, aren't you? Well, I'm not even. I just, I'm no good at that stuff. To be good at that stuff, the reality yeah. is... You've got to play flat out. Yeah. And that's just No, see, I'm di- I reckon you've got an innate skill, so... Mm. Innate? It's a, no, 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 as in, yeah, that's the right, correct use of the word. Okay. I so just disagree with you. I reckon I could go play Clary and FIFA now and be competitive. Even Sorry, he the games you play, mate, are the cycling games where you just click two buttons over five hours that's and, a, it's and a, then you do that's a little a, bit faster. That's a strategy line. game. I'll tell you yeah. what's interesting. I actually clicked on your Twitter profile. How's your Weebly day? going? Weebly's going well. Sweet. <laughs> go on Twitter profile. It actually says in the bio, you're a pro FIFA player. There you when, go. when did you put that in? Obviously, when I started my Twitter <laughs> account, like back when I thought playing FIFA was cool. <laughs> um, Probably change that. Different one. Yeah, maybe I should. What should I change it to? Should we get a custom Gordy Twitter Weebly in there? Get the Weebly going. Twitter could be rogue. Twitter's Twitter's harsh feedback, pretty yeah. direct straight away. I know, but that's isn't that what we like? No, we yeah, don't. No. Uh, I don't know. Leave that one with us. Um, bacon and egg update. From one, it must be in Richmond. We must be talking about Richmond. No, no, no. I went to a place called Eggs, Begs and Aiken. In Richmond? No, in Collingwood. Pretty close to Richmond. They make the top Begs and Aiken. They make, they make the top Who's team. out? Um, shout out to Begs and Aiken. Sorry, I got that completely wrong. Egg cup. Actually, can we scrap that? No. Nah, <laughs> I insist at this point. Begs and Aiken were already in my top 10. Begs and, that's a place and in Aiken. Brand. Okay. Oh, so you didn't... Okay, yeah. Okay. No, let's not scrap it. Let's Egg keep cup. It in there. Egg bay, Begs and Aiken. Good, good spot. Egg cup in. Yeah. 
Um, what else have we got written down? I've got some huge news, but I'm still going to wait for Disco to say. I, I, I feel like, and Gibby's giving me a little clip. Um, I've got nothing. I'm not bringing anything. But <laughs> I'm, I'm saving my shots. They're in the chamber. They're going to come when Disco rocks up. Well, I'm in a car spot till three because you guys were late, so I'm happy to wrap it up there. Right. You want to? You don't want to bring up the, uh, the send off rule? Yeah, the send off rule. We can talk about it. There was a baseball punch on, which we thought was unbelievable, and then there was a lot of talk this week that there should be a send off rule in the footy, obviously on the back of an incident in the Geelong game. Tommy Stewart. Yep. What are your thoughts? I reckon you can't bring it in. I don't think yeah. you can bring it in. Too much grey area. That's my gut feel. You know, I, I feel. It's going to get real controversial. Ten bucks, this gets taken off, but I'm just going to say it. No, I, I think and, and the old mate John Ralph, right, who knows a listener, will he'll, he'll, he'll take this. I think it's a. I feel from um, Christian, the match review uh, MRO guy. Mm. I think he's got the hardest job. And Christian, the MRO guy. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Michael Christian, the MR, MRO guy. He just runs the MRO. He does have a tough job. To be yeah. fair. It's the hardest job. And, you the know, easiest thing for him to do is just direct it straight to the tribunal. Exactly. Then he doesn't have to make the hard decision. And I, I think the whole system is. I don't know what the answer is. I don't think it's perfect. I don't think it ever will be. And I certainly don't think that this is an easy one. But Have you been reported? Uh, no, nah, Have you been, any of your concussions at, were they nah. deliberate acts? No. Nah. Nah. Um, Have you been in a punch on? Uh, yeah, I got the one. Fi- I got, I've been fined a few times early on. I'm sticking up for um, Nath Jones back in the day. And he he went on a, a streak of like ten weeks where he got fined he for got fined, melees, no, fined. and they keep going up and up and up and up and up. So anyway, back to my point. I think the job is incredibly difficult, and you're only at making it harder for this poor you know sucker. He's got to figure out what's a red card and what isn't. Is that how it would work? Is he the guy that does it? I just think it's a too, it's already hard enough. Why would you make it harder on yourself? My brother got red carded. Uh, in a he plays he plays local Queensland over thirty five footy. <laughs> Just think about how niche that is for once. <laughs> and he got red carded, and it was simply for abusing someone a little bit over the top, and red carded. And the controversy that it caused, yeah. Like again, no abuse, no one likes it, but like to get red carded for it, and yep. then the controversy it then causes. In that's in over thirty five yeah. niche Queensland football, and we all obviously know that. Over 35 football in Queensland has a direct correlation to the AFL. So yep. if it's not working there, yeah, it probably just probably. Well, that's where work. red cards are. Red cards mm. are at local footy. I just don't think it. I just don't think it. I just can't imagine it working effectively, and then people being happy with it. I think, you know, the systems. You know, it's not perfect, but it's not going to. You're not going to fix it by bringing red cards in. That's my personal opinion. What do you reckon, Gibby? Oh, people probably don't care about my opinion, but I think the grey areas. No, don't be so hard ben on Gibson. yourself. I'm just here to People prompt. don't care what I'm just I here think. to prompt We you. care about your opinion. Thank you. Feel very valued. But yeah, I think the grey area is too high. Yeah. Yeah. We don't agree with your opinions, but <laughs> yeah, we in care fact, about I'm now it. changing mine to <laughs> contradict yours, but thanks for, thanks for offering it. Do you right. reckon bring it in or keep it out? Uh, I'm wary of saying both because a lot of players say you can't do it and then a lot of like commentators, people that haven't played, say you have to do it. Mm. And they... Players sort of get pigeonholed as we don't want to do it for uh, reasons that, like, we don't want to ever get red carded type set up or we don't want to have a team. I think a real obvious one could be done, but then there's way too much grey area around the non-obvious ones. So it's hard. Sinbin, like, the NRL do it, and there's some non-obvious ones, but they use VAR footage yeah, they, around most of their sin bins. And their culture's so different as yeah. well with the you games. You can't copy sport. games. No, exactly. Anyway. Basketball do a tech fair. Maybe we'll do five fouls, you're off. Let's copy them. Ejections. Yep. Get out of the stadium. Yep. Anyway. Good stuff. That's actually pretty interesting from you. Give me any other news or Thanks. are we going to go straight well, to the Well, the break? other one, obviously, is Majak Dawes' retirement. He spoke to you guys this morning. He did. You've probably worked closer than most with him in got the last Got a mention in his speech. I, I noticed. I was counting mentions. I got two. One of them was... I remember one. No, the other one was he touched me up in the training session pre-prelim. That was Goody who said that. Yeah, yeah then who got the last laugh, really. You did, yeah. Max. But he you did. got the laugh. He kicked three on me in the... No, it was before the granny. It was after the prelim. It was like, bring me back down to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Aaron Vandenberg went crazy. Both Bib almost Chin. got picked for a West grand final team. At West Coast ground? Yeah, yeah. it was crazy. Um, and Bib Chin. Yeah, no, so, look, he, his story is incredible. Have you read his book? Yep. I th- have you? No. You read should read his book, mate. Beautiful it's an story. In, that's, where I, story. that's where I've worked out straight and narrow. It wasn't straight, straight and, and narrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we've that was in Madge's rest. book. Don't dust this one off. That it's was in, in Madge's closet. book. You yeah, brought up sure. Madge's book. I did. That's and a fair Madge point. Madge's straight straight book, narrow. beautiful story. Yeah. Straight and narrow. Yeah. yeah. They and both no, work. Uh, his story's incredible. And um, I thought he spoke really well this morning. He spoke to the boys before um, we went out to start our day just to thank everyone. And I thought he was really well spoken. And Beautiful man. Great teammate. Did some wonderful things in the 2021 season for us without playing a game. He pretty much single-handedly was... Um, 
dominating VFL. Like he, I don't know mm-hmm. how he didn't win the the, the league medal. Um, yeah, he was incredible. Probably because we missed a lot of games and whatnot. But um, and then he's working the hub in the final series, bringing the mood, testing me out and Dogger out during the during the week. Shame that he didn't get to put the red and blue on. He got mighty close yeah. last 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 year. Um, so yeah, all the best to to we might have to get him on the podcast. We almost did get him in the pod when he was in form in the VFL Let's last year. Just get him next gone. week and see how retirement's going. Yeah, maybe Morty Alec Werribee. Sorry, Sporting Globe <laughs> Werribee. <laughs> I, <think there's, laughs> the, I think the Sporting Globe Werribee is probably an but I don't think there is one. Well, let's it's work on that. Feel. But um, yeah, Madge, well let's done. I know he's listening because he's a you know, keen avid who isn't of the podcast, but um, you know, something to be proud of. His let's career throw to the sponsors him. and we'll come back with let's, this guy. Let me have a look at these wings. Now, Gus, we all know the team at Zurich Insurance are proud sponsors of the Gus and Gorney podcast. Yes, absolutely. Huge supporters of the pod. I think they were our first sponsor and certainly our first platinum partner, which is a huge result. Yes, and they've also been on board as a co-principal partner of the club since 2018 and have been protecting Australia for over 100 years. That's right. They provide insurance for individuals and families, plus businesses large and small. Now, Gussie, we know you're a big fan of protection, rocking your helmet at every chance you get, so this is very on brand for you. You're absolutely right. To see how Zurich can support you, head to zurich.com.au or contact your financial advisor or broker. Uh, thanks, Zurich. Uh, that was a beautiful yeah, little... well spoken about Zurich. Yeah. Um, um, I'm might... hoping that that is still in there. It didn't want to be. <laughs> Otherwise, we might as well thank them again just in case. No, nah, I'm going with it. Sporting um, Globe. Sporting Globe. Thanks for having Beautiful us. place. Uh, then we're just going to quickly run through our tier twos. Um, Lay Day, uh, Green Zone Termites, uh, East End Wine Bar, Oliver Lock, Squash, Fat Nut Customs, uh, Bigger... Fasteners and industrial fittings. That's the one. Bailey Fritch Electrical. Little Bridge Cafe, Cabin, Bundai 6, F45 Frankston. Yep. And Guzman and Gomez. Uh, we've obviously got our uh, guest in here. Um, the people who are reading the podcast who have clicked play will know that we've got young Daniel Turner in here. And um, Surely Daniel it's Turner. is it Disco Turner on Spotify? It's going to be Disco Turner. So, um, or it could be Maxi. So we'll, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll workshop that. But um, thanks for coming on, mate. Nah, Appreciate fellas, it. Thanks for having me. We'll start there because, um, actually no, we'll start with the small business stuff because as you've just heard, we've got a long list of uh, sponsors. A lot of people want to jump on board. A rich yeah. history of sponsorship. And um, you got any connections, any small businesses, any... What are the parents um, Your mum works at a chicken joint? Yeah, Aubrey Wholesale Chickens. Aubrey Wholesale Chickens. This Do you reckon, is right and, up our wheelhouse. <laughs> this is, we need a chicken joint. Yeah. If you um, <laughs> went to your mum tonight and said... Um, so wholesale chickens, that's big volumes of chicken, right? Yeah, massive volumes. If you buy... Sorry, that's me areas there. If you buy 10,000 chickens off Aubrey Wholesale Chickens, can you get 50% off the 10,000 and first? I don't know how it works, but... Can you, you ask that one for us? Yeah. We'll get Sparks we'll, on we'll one, but Aubrey wholesale, ch- oh, it's Aubrey wholesale Chickens? Yep. Oh, that's right. And that's uh, just to be clear, us. that's Aubrey, not Al- Al- Albury. Aubrey. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so just make sure. We've had that one before. <laughs> Aubrey. We've had that one before. Um, <laughs> and so... and. You know, as we said right off the top, you know, there's a few names we could have gone with. Yeah. Um, Daniel's obviously given you at birth, but you picked Disco up pretty early on. Can you just walk us quickly through? Yeah. Surely there's a better story than How's I'm, I'm fun at a party or something. Oh, that's usually what I go with. Um, it's just what my mates back home gave to me and I kind of stuck with it. Yep. And what about Maxi? Because that's my favourite personal, I mean, which is uh, interesting. You're better at the Maxi story, yeah, but I want to hear what Disco I says you first. Tell, you're, you're great at telling it, and you get a lot of joy out of it. Oh as well, no, so it, uh, I, I yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. It is suppose. pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty funny. <laughs> so I'll tell it. You know, yeah. I'll just tell it. How about I tell it? So we're um, old man Sticks, who we'll be touching on later, um, is good mates with uh, the ex Hawks coach Alistair Clarkson. They yep. played together at North, and um, he's obviously a legend of the game. We don't need to introduce him, but who Sticks? Um, yeah, and Al as well. You yeah. know, he's got some chops about him. So he's come around for dinner. Clarko's come around for dinner. And um, it turns out that uh, young Daniel and Trent Rivers are going to be there. So, you know, we um, sit down and he comes in and he's got this aura almost around him because he's that legendary. These blokes' jaws hit the floor. Oh, my God, that's Al Clarkson. They stand up. Oh, g'day, I'm Trent Rivers. Nice to meet you, mate. G'day, Trent. I'm Alistair, as if he needs to introduce himself. G'day, yeah. Daniel. I'm Alistair. Nice to meet you. Sit back down, share a full meal together. Did you have to introduce yourself, or you nah, nah, sort of knew each other? Well, you know how you have people that you might be close to. You call them uncle, someone. Yeah, he's, he's uncle Al. He, he's uncle Al. Wow. And I called him. Funnily enough, I called him uncle Al in front of Jordan Lewis and Ruffy when I was like eighteen. <laughs> I bumped into him, and they were like, "Oh, you guys related? Not related? That's awkward." <laughs> so, anyway, night together spent. It's just the best night, you know. 
beautiful food. Sixies on the barbecue. Short stories both ways, you know. Al's got stories to tell these young fellas, and then you know they've got stories about you know they're up and coming and connections made. Beautiful night. Clarko heads off and he goes to Riv first. And despite the you know the three hours of strong connections formed, <laughs> he just Sorry. says, "See you, mate. Pleasure to meet you." And Trent, yeah, fair enough. He's Al Clarks and I'm just Trent. He got so mated. He got mated. I've been That's mated right. and there's nothing wrong with that. Yep. Thanks very much for the evening, mate. No worries. Yep. And then he looks at <laughs> Dan and's like, oh, absolute pleasure to meet you, Maxi. <laughs> Great stuff, mate. Good luck for the rest of the year. <laughs> and then D- Disco is like, oh, yeah, thanks, mate. A <laughs> ple- 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 pleasure to meet you too. <laughs> and there's just silence for about five seconds as... Clarko clears out, <laughs> and Riv and I are just looking at Disco, who's just absolutely shattered. Not only has he, <laughs> not only has he been called Maxi, he's got no, they, they share no, you know, similarities with Disco. There's not a single letter that's shared. <laughs> nah. um, you've copped it, and you've accepted yeah, I, it. I've copped it. I you didn't just, want to pull him you've up. You've just laid down. Pull and, him up. And Imagine if you pulled it. him up. No, nah, I didn't. So what were you up. going through your head when he said that? Because as oh. I established, you know, some real bonding, yeah. some me- meaningful moments, and he's hit you with Maxi. Yeah, I kind of yeah, shook his hand, and I was like. <laughs> Fair enough And he walked out And I was like Yeah nice to meet you mate And then um, I was just kind of thinking Hopefully you didn't hear Or nobody <laughs> yeah, heard Could I and, He bellowed it <laughs> and, then, and then nobody he- else hears about it And then um, Here you go Just up there with laughter And I'm like Yeah here we go Have you spoken to Uncle Al about it? Yeah, so yeah. mum Yeah go on <laughs> oh, well, Yeah he came over for dinner Probably like a month or two later. How often does he come for dinner? Oh, they're good mates, mate. Yeah. He's Uncle Al. Like, you know, we're the, uh, family and, friends. And I roll downstairs and he shakes me hand. He's like, Maxie with a nice grin. And yeah, Deb kind of told him. And yeah, he's like, he, he, he probably just didn't realise. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, no, he just goes along with it now. So. What did he call you this time? Daniel or this guy? Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, that's funny. So for those who don't know, Disco, Maxie lives at um, yes. Sticks and Deb's joint. Yep. With, um, now along with the, how many is it? 15... 15 There's players? a few floating through. So at the yeah. moment, it's Taj and Knuckle. I think we went through, it was, yeah, like 13 or 14. Yeah. I think a fair few. So you've Knuckle, had Knuckle is uh, Judd McVeigh from we, the nickname. You touched on the nicknames. Yeah, but Taj listen. hasn't got one, though. What's Taj's nickname? Stixie calls him Slick. Yeah, I don't know and about that. I don't, yeah. I don't really have one for him. It's, yeah. There's not That's really, a real workshop. Yeah, it's, well, it's some, something will pop up. It can't be while we... Yeah. It can't be. We'll nah. get a workshop going. We'll, we'll forget get something out. But you've had... So you've lived with both Trent and... Luke Jackson, a friend of the podcast, yeah. he's come on. And now you've got Knuckle and um, Taj. How's that? And, and what's it now? You're coming up on a year, you're a mid-season draft, so you're just about a year in the in the joint. What, yep. How's your experience been? And obviously you live with Stixie. That's a challenge in and of yeah. itself. So what's your whole uh, experience been like? Oh, at the Brayshaws, it's been, nah, it's been great fun. Always had a good crew there, like River and Dogger to start off with. It was funny as Dog is a special character. <laughs> Riv, Riv was in and out because he um, stays with his missus, but... Um, Nah, it was oh. good. And then Knuckle and, Knuckle and Taj, um, yeah, they're, they're pretty switched on as well, so there's no problems with them. Have you been allowed in Six's office yet? Yeah, I've been in there a few times. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What for? Uh, there was one time <laughs> I had to sign something. He just, no, actually, I had to witness him signing something. <laughs> I was just out there eating, and he's like, Disco, come in here. Had to witness him sign something. And but obviously frowned upon to go in there by yourself. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that's, I reckon that's probably the only time I've been in there. Yeah, okay. So or maybe to show, up the, uh, show off the photo we got off. Conks of all you boys who have oh, yeah, been yeah, there yeah. before. Yep. Um, with the yeah, he's pretty, cup, that's pretty happy with that. Yeah, well, yeah, to show off that. He's adding another it. photo to the wall, which is sort of the big news I was going to go with. Oh, okay, this Massive. is yeah. because the other day you've come with this one bit of inf- information, and which has lasted thirty odd minutes before which we got is to it. It's significant because it affects you as well. I don't right. think you're getting out of no, the I'm definitely way here because you're in the gun, I'm hearing the end of it. Um, at Royal Melbourne, if you have a hole in one, they give you a framed plaque of the ball you yep. used, the hole. Yep. And, the, and on no. Saturday, just gone, I witnessed Stixie Brayshaw um, hit an, a hole in one on the 13th East uh, okay. Royal Melbourne. And within you know five seconds of it happening, I got 50 messages from his mate, so he's already <laughs> text. Yeah. And he's going to have, he used a pink ball, stupid pink ball. Okay. And I wonder where it's going to hang. I, at the moment, it's in a... And I don't know how you're dealing with him, because it pissed me. I, I played the next five holes and I couldn't stand him. I didn't um, didn't hear much from him yesterday, but definitely the dinner after. <laughs> it couldn't Can stop you talk us through the, the, the shot? No, no I, I was there. He I, wasn't there. No, he's just coming there. He, surely he's explained it. We've got this stupid stuff where he comes home. So we play golf a bit, yeah. Mark and I, and every time, if he wins, he'll come back in and say, Disco, Taj... <laughs> 
<laughs> Knuckle, just don't talk to Gus. He's a bit flat. You know, <laughs> I, I took him to the cleaners and things, things of that nature. <laughs> and um, you're actually getting into golf now as well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm no good, but... How's that going? Talk us through that. No, nah, very good. Just got the handicap. Yeah? Um, What's he off? Who are you beating? Who are you playing and who are you beating? Uh, play Judd and Taj and Bears. Fraze a bit as well. Yep. Bears is um, all right. Yeah, Bears is pretty solid. Yeah. Um, Fraze doesn't have a handicap yet, but, but he can pretty, he can hit a yeah, ball. Oh, he can hit it a mile. Yeah. Um, get him onto the social golf club. Yeah, um, we've been trying. I think he's in the process of handing in Love a few that. cards for that. Um, Bears, actually no, we've already talked about Bears. Who else is it? Taj, he's yeah. solid as well. He's off like eighteen. Taj is good at a lot of things. Yeah, he's. Can we work that into his nickname. No, nah, it's yeah. got to be something funny. Yeah, sure. Just checking. Hey, it's <laughs> spitballing here. Get you um, and then it's just me and Knuckle at the bottom there. Um, Knuckle doesn't. Nah, we're both nuggets. Golfer. <laughs> nah, we're both nuggets. He he has a hockey background, yeah. so he can hit the ball. Yeah, right. But um, I have a bit of trouble doing that sometimes. I'm WA in their hockey, they love their hockey over He's, there. Yeah. But he just can't can't convert on the parts. His short game's horrible. Yeah, right. Whereas Probably I'm like just, Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Really, isn't it? Whereas I'm just horrible all around. But I'm 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 improving slowly. I've taken okay. a few lessons. I've been persistent in playing. Play once or twice a week. So. Yeah, I mean, you got the award for worst golfer at oh, our yeah. last um, coterie day, didn't you? So <laughs> yeah, that was that was absurd. Uh, <laughs> had five points, um, <laughs> but I did get a free round there with buggies. Yeah, well, there you go, mate. It's all worth it. It's a good That's course. enough golf chat for sure. <laughs> um, Bayside, you like it? Yeah, unreal. What's Gold's good about country? it? Oh, it's just it's got everything there. Like it's got um, good value of like different foods. Yeah, right. I like my food. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of options there. What's your um, go-to? I don't mind butter chicken. Indian. Oh, God, yeah. I don't oh, yeah. Mind Indian. Uh, Devon Sticks have that little. Yep, little I know tyrama. exactly when you talk about Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. Yep. yep. They've taken us there a few times and that's unreal. What, what, um, what, what burb? Sandy. They're in Sandy. It's in the guts of Sandringham. Yeah, right. God's country down there, don't you think? You've been across, you've been seen a few places. Yes. What's Stack your up? thoughts on the hour and 10 to training? Oh, yeah, to Casey. No, to Amy. Um, <laughs> He's joking. Don't buy into that. It's a big trip in, isn't it? Yeah, it's about half an hour. Traffic lights at and most, whatnot. Half an hour at most. Traffic on the PR. The only thing I've got a problem with going to Amy is you just you have to be right on the speed limit. So I've copped a few speeding fines yeah, right. since being here from the um, automatic cameras on the lights. You, you do, they don't move, like they don't hide. They're, they're no, there they're, all the yeah, time. Yeah, they're there. I just, as soon as I came down, I didn't actually realise they were here coming from Albury. Don't you don't, in you, don't, you, <laughs> don't, you don't have those. Albury's no limits. You don't have those cameras there. So um, yep. yeah, they got me a few times. Um, you'll figure that out. Do you go for New South Wales in the Origin? Yeah. I'm presuming. Did you watch Sunday night? Uh, I'm not a big rugby fan. Not a big rugby no. fan. All right. Well, then I'll, I'll just cross out those. Yeah, sorry those about that. No, that's terrible. We've got to talk footy. Let's, because your face got broke the other week, and yeah. there's no way around that. So how's it going, and um, where are you at with your rehab? Um, no, it's going well. I uh, escaped surgery, which is a huge result. Um, didn't have to sit around for a week. Doing so nothing, it healed so. itself? Yeah, it was. It, I was um, 100% going into surgery. Then the day of... Uh, went into a little meeting and um, got a check up and he said, mate, I'm happy with you to to uh, not have to go under the knife and yep. escaped it. So I was huge result. I was happy with that. And then, um, yeah, it's healing well. Uh, in the rehab, I can pretty much do everything, just non-contact now. So and then um, eating-wise, the first couple of weeks were interesting. It used to hurt sure. a bit. Yeah, just just hurt while eating. But now it just feels back to normal kind you of You didn't thing. go it's crazy just, like put a steak in a blender and drink it out nah, of the shore. Nah, I was just up. eating soft foods, like, like just noodles. and yep. just, That was pretty much it. And the, and the game? The, the, so, first of all, the cheekbone was the first contact that, of the first part of the game, or was it later on? I reckon kept, it was later on. I think the first contact was where I just split, like... There was a bit of blood there. Yeah, it was yeah. a bit of claret. Yeah, it was a bit of, yeah, a bit of blood there. Um, and then, no, nah, it was that second one where... I bumped into Elliot where he got my cheekbone, jaw, and eye socket. So he, he got me in a few places. That's a fair go. He's, good, he might, he's got a hard head. Yep. Yeah. And look, mate, I, right you know, in that sweet spot. Feel free to contradict me here, but I thought watching you, and you know, you only played, what, three and a, three odd quarters. Yeah. But, mate, you didn't look at all. Jeez, imagine, out if of I, place. imagine if I contradict you here. No, it's just. <laughs> it'd be a real bad I just thought you looked like, you know, you can tell with some players, and I thought that you looked right at home. Does that give you some confidence to. Start, you know, I'm actually good enough to play at that level because you looked, you know, like you were doing your job at a really high level. Is that something you'd like to contradict? Well, as Disco said to me in rehab, he goes, I was on my way to 40 until, <laughs> until <laughs> the injury happened. <laughs> I was Jeez, on my way to 40 to in the first, um, the first five minutes and then went a bit missing there and then the injury <laughs> you got a bit went a bit missing and then, yeah. And then, Did you get um, confidence? I mean, you must have yeah, felt nah, good out there. Yeah, it got a bit of confidence and it, it helps when you... You slot into a back line where you've got the likes of yourself and Jake Lee and Harry Petty. Um, 
like those boys, Hibbo down there leading you as well. So um, it just makes it easy. Like the communication, that just makes it What is it, easy. the back line? Yeah. In the court department. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The men's Strong department. cultured. Yeah, well, obviously not because they don't know it's the men's department. No, it's the men's department. They yeah, called it, it the back line first. Yeah, but I mean, I mean you're not oh, even just a fight club. You're yeah. the first rule of fight club. You don't <laughs> talk about it. So <laughs> we'll give you that one. But um, there's another thing that we have to um, talk to you about, Daniel, and it's going to be important here that you get your facts right and you remember exactly how it goes down because oh, no. uh, Gus and Corny are in the sponsorship market. Yep. Looking for a player. Obviously, you've heard our list of sponsors, but when we're actually now looking to sponsor um, specifically a player. Yep. It's and pretty big. Yeah, you know, we it's a, it's a significant commitment and one that we had in verbal communication with you at the bronze level. Now I've got I'm looking through my notes. I've got nothing of it. I can't show the piece of paper, but we had a verbal agreement. We had a verbal agreement, yeah. and then that you just went and played three, four weeks of Unreal Footy, and it seems now that you've only got the platinum left. So just for the people listening who may have sponsored you at the bronze. We had that. That's a real thing, right? That, you remember yeah. that? Yeah, I night. remember that. Heading into that sponsorship night, I didn't have any sponsors. You were sitting at the back with yeah. Knuckle and your yep. Pat Malone, and yeah. I just come out. We the had back. the paperwork. We had the yeah. paperwork there, ready to sign. We were ready to go. The only meeting I had that night was with you two fellas. Yeah, <laughs> and it was a. Well, you, you and know, now we're going to have to go and platinum. Well, I mean, Kim, is there a re- what, yeah, who, do you know your bronze sponsor now? No, I don't. I, well, this, we haven't, haven't had another it. sponsorship. You haven't had any. Yeah, but as in they haven't told you. Here you go, mate. Here's your. Oh, gee, so I feel like I've had, I've heard, I've heard. Nothing. I reckon it's a I'd, listener. But yeah. we were the first, right? Yeah, yeah. The only, the only way I've heard is it of it is from you guys. Yeah, you've well, said they've we're, taken your bronze sponsorship. I reckon it's away a listener that's bluffed us. Yeah, I mean we were outraged. That's probably why we've heard so much. <laughs> but um, we were the first. I just want to get that clear for whoever's listening. But what we're going to do is we're going to rally the troops. We're thinking of getting a dollar from everyone who listens to us. So you could have five thousand sponsors and go platinum with you. Right, that, that'd be a great idea. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'd We're full honored. of them, mate. We've I'd got. Be you we'll won't be idea. sitting by yourself. At, you'll be sitting with five thousand <laughs> <Right>, people. <yeah. laughs> That'd be unreal. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a bit weird, but it'd be unreal. I reckon. Yeah. Be tough to just get around everyone. No, nah, you'd find a way, mate. Yeah, hundred you, percent. You'd get after it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd get after it, mate. I'd get after it. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> um, last thing for me, it's quite topical at the moment because there's a few mid-season draftees going around. Uh, give me a. Do you want to run me that Essendon guy's name? What's his name? I can't say it. Dur- uh, the Essendon mid-season draft from this year that's dominating. Oh, it's a hard name debut. to say. Um, uh, Massimo. Massimo. It's something like that. Yeah, anyway. D. Rolio. D. Ambrosio. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't heard it? No, it's a great name. I should have gone with someone else. Yeah, that's right. You went with it, and you actually did better than you've done before on some other more. Uh, regulation you, ones. You, you How, what's, uh, surely that's as the top of the list in terms of nerve-wracking experiences, walking into a club halfway through yeah. their season. Oh, that, it, was, it was up there because I was... Oh, on the Wednesday, I was literally plumbing. Yep. And then on the Friday, I was in at the club. It was, oh, I, was, I was packing it when I walked in for sure. And when yep. I had to get up in front of the group and as every new draft day has to do, get up and uh, introduce himself and What'd say a bit about, about him. Um, yeah, oh, I was... It was a bit scary, but then once you get in there, you just remember, like, we're all there doing the same thing and it fit in quite nice, so it was good. Yeah, and then you didn't let your inexperience and your lack of time at the club affect you come grand final Mad Monday week. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> quite the contrary. No, I, I, did, I did carry on a fair Quite the contrary. Sure. Yeah. Certainly felt like you'd been there for a long time, yeah. which, is, which is great. Yeah, no, um, um, I was carrying on a bit, but... No, it was, that was unreal. Probably one of the best weeks of my life, for sure. It was, <laughs> it was, it was really good. Well, I it heard so funny. Madge in his retirement speech today yeah. also said that was one of the best weeks of his life to be yeah. involved in something like that. It was a pretty good week. It, yeah. was, oh. it, was, it was pretty good. Yeah. You, oh, you can't get any experience like that anywhere else. It was, no, it was crazy. One of the so. best moments is when you see Disco, Austin Bradke, Madjack running on the ground with their yeah, phones, yeah, yeah. like recording oh, it all. Yeah. Yeah, that was, it was pure. That was unreal. Yeah. Didn't have to play in it, but oh, it, was, it was crazy. Such a good experience. Well, hopefully we have another one with you playing, oh, mate. So 100%. sort your face out. I mean, you know, <laughs> a bit of work to do, but um, hopefully that recovers quick. We'll get you back in the team. And um, thanks for coming on. I think this has been a good one of a, this is a good guest. You've been insightful. Well, I've I had a bit of work to do yeah. after um, not a heap <laughs> in the first segment. So I've, um, I've come with the big stuff. And um, congrats to Stixy for his ace, and uh, and enjoy the rest of your life with him because he he won't let you forget that one unfortunately <laughs> so is he sorry is Stixy a little bit more endearing than what I've seen of him like does he um, ever no. just like put his arm around you at home and say oh, like, with hung- the cheekbone did he say bad luck mate uh, did he, he just, touch you nah just no. more like just handshake Fair great man, job man. mate um, didn't hear about the cheekbone until I got the, the scans the next day because I actually didn't think anything was yeah. wrong 
until um, I went in and got the scans. And that night, I can't really remember much. I think you'd yeah, remember. Yeah, we came out for dinner. You I were nowhere. A bit out of it. I was spaced yeah. out. Um, yeah. So Stixie no good What I'm hearing No no, no Stixie, Stixie's good Just give you a handshake Just yep. none, of, none of that stuff Putting the arm around Just tells it how it is so. You're a handshake sort of guy aren't Yeah you? I'm, I'm just a handshake sort of guy I don't really want you up In your personal space so. There you go Alright well Thanks for coming on mate I'm going to have some more wings us, boys. So am I Hook into the wings mate well, oh. You spicy? just chuck this in at any time actually They may well be Are they spicy? Just quickly One of them Did is. you know yeah. At Morty Alex Sporting Globe If you're a Melbourne member 20% off. Oh, that's huge. 20%? Yeah, so let's say... Far out. Mate, that's better than any deal that we're, on, we're running with. Yeah, that's it. Well, I mean... Yeah. Sparks hasn't done this one. Sparks has not done this one. This is Somebody actually a real deal. done this one. So, Mel- so is it just at this one or anyone? Any sporting globe. Did I said any Morty sporting Alec. globe. Any sporting globe. So Richmond, which is obviously a bit closer to the footy. Has to be closer, doesn't it? Just if I'm thinking as the crow flies. Yeah, because Bayside's it, a long, long way away. It has to be. So so I could go there as a Melbourne member. 20% off. Far out. Did you that know that, Disco? No, I didn't. I, yeah. Are you a Melbourne member? No, I'm not. I think we all are, are we? Oh, well, I am. I am. Yeah. I just, how do you, you're not. How do you become a Melbourne member when oh, you're a player? Come oh, on, Maxie. What are you talking about? We'll figure that out off there. All the emails from the club, you don't get them? Uh, uh, yeah, he's if a plumber, you see mate. My, if you see my emails, emails, you'd be quite worried about me. Not too organised on that. Anyway, thanks for coming on, mate. Thanks for your emails.